What's going on guys, it's Michael here. We're back with a different type of video. Today, I just wanted to show off my 3DS collection. And you know, the 3DS was a special console to me. It was really special to me because I was like, it was like the first console that I remember the most about playing back then when it came out. I think it came out like 2013, 2012. There was a lot of games before back then when I was like 12 or 13 that I wanted and that you know, I couldn't get, so but you know, for me, like I've grown up. I bought a lot of games recently because the 3DS store will be shut down next year. So as soon as the store shuts down, like it's clipped, like all the prices are gonna rise up. And it's like, you might as well, you might as well get them now and play the games that you wanna play before, before the store shuts down and then resellers kill the whole market and you gotta spend a thousand for, for one game. Like, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into the collection. First game is Shimagami Tensei Soul Hackers. Uh, I mean, I didn't, I don't really want to play this game to be honest, but I got it because it's, it's an Atlas game. It's a Shimagami Tensei game, and you know, it, it was like eighty dollars. So, you know, this is gonna be worth, for enough, worth a lot in the future. So yeah. Next game is Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey. I played this game like almost halfway through and then I got stuck on a puzzle and you know, got me kind of mad so I was, I, was, I, was, I was over it. So I didn't want to do it anymore. But it's a good game, you know, a lot, a lot, of, this, a lot of new demons that, that are in this game that I haven't seen. So, hey man, hey man, it's a good game man, pick it up. Next game is Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner or Devil Survivor Overclocked. This, this, this was a, re, a remaster of the DS game that came out. And this game is really good. I got to like close to the end, but you know, it's gonna be a common trend that I don't finish a lot of these games. Cause I mean, that's like what I usually do. I just play a lot. I just play a lot of the games for like a, a little bit. And then I just play another new game. But yeah, this is a good game. Nope, try it out, man, try it out. Next game we got is Shimagami Tensei Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker. And this is also a remake of the of the DS game. And again, this game is really good. I did I didn't play this game yet, or I played like the only like the um only played to the beginning of it. It's really fun. It's fun too, but I think I like I like Overclock better than or yeah, I like Overclock better than Record Breaker. And I just but they're both good games, so just try it out. And these games are kinda expensive, so if you want them, get them before before the store closes, man. Cause you know, and you gotta get them. Next game is Persona Q, uh, Shadow of the Labyrinth. This game, I only got it because Persona. I really don't like the, the, the gameplay or the dungeon crawling at all. I just got it cause it was Persona. And I was, I always wanted to play this game or get this game when I was a kid. So I like, fuck it, man. I'm just gonna get it. I'm just gonna get what I want. Next is Persona Q2. Same thing, same deal. I always seen this game. Or oh, this game came out like two years, two, two or three years ago, and I just wanted it because it's Persona, and I like Persona, so I can't really tell you much about the gameplay. So, yeah. Next game is Stella Glow. This game, I seen it. Oh, I I know about this game because Sir Lion Ari is a YouTuber. He played it, and again, I got it because it's an Atlas game. You know, I'm an Atlas stand, so. I just got it because it's Atlas, honestly, bro. So yeah, I can't tell you much about the gameplay. Uh, next game is Shimagami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. Uh, it's a good game. I got near, I got near the end, and then I got a new. I, cause I had, I had this game digitally, and I got it digitally on my old 3DS, and I got to near the end, but then I got a new 3DS XL. And then I couldn't transfer over the files because it was on a different SD card than the one that came with the new Nintendo 3DS. And I didn't wanna, I didn't feel like opening the Nintendo 3DS, taking the SD card out, so yeah. So I just never finished this game. Long story short, next game we got is Seventh Dragon 3 Code VDF. VFD, I mean. This game is pretty fun. I got it because you can make your own characters. And I like games like that where you can make your own party members. It's a pretty chill game. I mean, if you if you just want to like, I don't know. If you just want to like dungeon crawl and just make your own party members a good game. And the story is pretty decent too. It's not 
not nothing mind blowing, but it is what it is, you know. Next game is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Max Mask 3D. This game I haven't played it. I haven't played the original Majora's Mask. I don't like Zelda. I just got it because it's a 3DS exclusive game, so you might as well just get them now before the prices skyrocket. So yeah, I can't really tell you much about Zelda because I don't really care about Zelda. I'm just being honest, you know. Next game we have is Dragon Quest. Is that Dragon Quest Eight: Journey of the Cursed King? This game. I I got it because I like the PS2 version and I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try on the 3DS. And I haven't played it. I played like a little bit of it, obviously, but I like it. And this game is hella expensive too. So, <laughs> man, this game was like a hundred bones, hundred dollars. So that like kind of hurt my pockets, but hey man, we living. Next is Dragon Quest Seven: Fragments of the Forgotten Past. This game too. I got it because the Dragon Quest game was expensive. I'm just saying, pick up all the expensive games that you, that you can, like, that you can't afford. Don't go over your means. One of the main reasons why I even got a job was to, you know, start collecting games and all that jazz. So, yeah, you feel me? You feel me? But yeah, Dragon Quest uh, 7. Never played it. Probably never will play it, but it is what it is. Next, we have Bravely Default, the OG RPG, man. When this game came out, so I, I had this game before when I was a kid. Uh, I played it and I, I think I beat it, but then I sold it. Cause as a kid, you know that you want more games. So I sold it. So I just wanted, I just wanted it back just to have it. And man, this is a good game, man. Tis, Anya's, the soundtrack in this game is crazy. So yeah, this is a 10 out of 10 game and get it before the store closes or get it digitally because you know, prices go up. You're gonna be sick, you know? Next game is Fire Emblem Awakening. And this game, I love this game, bro. I beat this game like eight times. I played this for like over like 300 hours. Like this game is insane. But so actually this is the original, or my my original copy when this game first came out, when I got it. But like a dumbass, I was as a kid, I sold it. I sold the actual cartridge and I didn't give the case for some reason, so. I need to buy a cartridge of this game, so yeah, I'm kind of lying. I don't have this game, but I have it. Di have it digitally, so I mean, I guess that you know, you know, you know, you know that that adds up to something, right? Next game we have is Fire Emblem uh, Fates Conquest. I have Birthright and Revelations on on digital, and. I never played Conquest, so I was like, you know what, let me give Conquest a try. It's supposed to be the hardest version of this game. I beat it, oh, I didn't beat it. I got close to the end again, and I just gave up again, so yeah. But it's a pretty good game. I think you should at least you all get the Fire Emblem Fates collection, I guess, before the store closes, because the Revelations like copy that came with a special edition is like already like $600, $600 so hey man. But I, I won't be paying for it, because I already got it digitally, so I'm not paying for that. The next game we have is Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS. This game was lit, I remember, in, in middle school. Like, everyone would get around and just and just play this game, man. It's, 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 it's a good game when you don't have a Wii, or if you're not at home. Or if you didn't have the Wii version, or if you just wasn't, wasn't at home and at school on Fridays. I remember, I remember playing this game in the boys club and it was, man, it was fun, man. It was fun. All those memories, man. It was, it was really fun. Next game we have is Super Mario 3D Land. This game, I've always wanted to play this as a kid. I was like 13, 14, I just never got it. Because it was it was always like, like $39.99, $40. And it just never went on sale. So I finally got this game. I played to like World 4 or 5 and like the rest of the games, I gave up. I didn't give up, but I kind of gave up with it. So like all the games, but and it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Next game is uh, Codename Steam. Never played this game. This game is the cheapest 3DS game of all time. So I was like, yo, I might as well just get it. I have no idea what this game is about. I don't really care. But hey, if you guys like it, it's like, it's like $4. I got this for $4 somewhere, so. 
Next game we have is Pokemon Omega Ruby. I'm missing Alpha Sapphire, but I'm gonna get Alpha Sapphire. Yo, get all of these Pokemon games right now because man, these games right here will skyrocket fucking to the moon, bro. I'm just saying, like you might as well just get them now. Just get them now, man. Just get them. Just get them all now. And I like I like third gen my my third gen my favorite generation because the because the first game I played. So next game you guys Pokemon X and I just put both of them together. Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Hope it's showing both on the camera. I don't know. Uh, these games I bought Pokemon X the day it came out when I was like 13 dig digitally. I can't say that word. And man, this I remember playing this game and just being so excited, bro. But then when this game came out, like. That shit was different when this game came out, man, for real. I was like 13, middle school. It was so fun. And the next game we have is, or Pokemon Y. I bought this recently because, you know, I had X, but I just never had Y. So I was like, I was like you know what? I might as well get both. And these games are heavily, are going are going to be expensive. So just pick them up now before they become unbuyable. Next game we have is Pokemon Ultra Moon. Uh, this game... I played it like two years ago or like a year ago, and it's pretty fun. I hate this red logo on the new cases with the newer games because it's, it's it's ugly. Like it's, it's just ugly. <sighs> I don't know why Nintendo changed their products or changed their logo like this. It's so ugly, but whatever. This game pretty fun. Um, I I think I had fun with it. It's like a year ago. Yeah, I have the game. 